Hey everyone, how's it going? In this video, I will be showing you how to use uh, TDSM or Terraria Dedicated Server Mod. So TDSM is basically just uh, an application that allows you to host dedicated servers on both Windows and Linux. Uh, at the moment, we've had reports from Mac users, and it's currently not really stable with Mac. However, you can run it on Linux using Mono. So to get started, we're going to want to download this, and to do that, we just go to this forum link here. And there's two things, oh, well, there's one thing I want to show off first before we actually download it. Death Cradle, the developer of TDSM, has actually made this program open source. And you can access this open source, uh, or the source code, by going to this information section here and opening up the GitHub page. Alright, so as you can see here, he has the full code uploaded, and, uh, Probably the easiest thing if you want to start developing straight away would be to go to the TDSM plugin folder where Death Cradle has actually uploaded uh, some examples on how to make these plugins. So uh, definitely check it out and uh, even sign up to the forum. It, it'll help him out lots if you can get bug reports back or um, even if you just need help. But uh, at the moment we just want to download the server and get it running. So what you're going to want to do is go to the information section, find latest TDSM build right click go save link as and we're going to save it to the desktop alright so we're going to want to make a new folder because uh, when you actually run the program it does create uh, one extra file and a few folders so just to make it nice and easy Terraria server drag and drop it in alright so there we go and we're going to run it now, as you can see here, uh, there's a security warning. I have actually had reports back of people saying uh, AVG reports this as a virus. Um, it could happen with other um, antivirus applications too. But I assure you, this is not a virus. It is an open source program. It kind of defeats the purpose of making a virus if everyone kind of has access to the source code and can see what it d does because, you know, kind of just goes against itself a little bit there. It is a safe application and uh, I do use it all the time. So what it's going to do uh, at first is make a map. So by default the uh, the map is small, um, but yeah, a lot of people won't want this. A lot of people want to use our already pre-existing maps. So we're just going to wait till it's done, and we're just going to type exit, and that will um, just save the world data automatically. All right. So basically, if you're running Linux, you're going to want to open this server.properties folder. In fact, even if you're not, it's good to kind of get an idea of what's in this server.properties folder. So if you open it up, obviously it's um, an unrecognized file extension. So it should bring up the menu. Oh, okay, never mind, apparently not. The first time you open this, you're actually going to have to go to Open With. And then when it decides to work, we're going to want to open it with Notepad. Do not open it with Word, do not use any of those other programs because when they actually save files they kind of save lots of extra data to it and we don't need that. Just open it with Notepad just to be safe. So now we can see a few options here. So we can change the maximum amount of players, the, uh, the message to the server, change that. Alright, so a lot of people, uh, basically, they have trouble with the world path. Um, basically, they don't know how to use their pre-existing worlds. So if you actually go to your documents, go to My Games, go to Terraria, Worlds, um, and then click on this top little uh, Explorer window here, it will actually give you the file path of your worlds folder. Now, this is a default save point for all the worlds uh, that Terraria has. So you can just copy and paste that, and just paste it over this here. Alright, so then you're going to want to put an extra backslash, and then basically whatever file you want. So uh, we're just going to use world4 here, so we type world4.wld. Yep, world4.wld, that's right. All right. Now, if you're running Linux and you actually want to get this to work um, using Mono, you'll see the debug mode here. You want to change that to true. 
basically this is done and uh, Death Cradle explains it really well but uh, this is done by changing the default by changing the debug debug mode <laughs> sorry by changing the debug mode it changes the way Terraria sends data so if it's set to false the data is sent through asynchronous sockets whereas if it's set to true it uh, basically sends the data over a normal socket connection now uh, that's probably not going to mean much to uh, a lot of people watching this but to a uh, few Linux guys out there I'm sure that's uh, great news for you to hear so uh, change it to true this uh, doesn't actually affect Windows at all so changing it to true won't change anything but uh, if you're running Linux changing it to true will allow you to actually uh, let people join your server pretty much so just save that and then close it and then we're going to want to go into Terraria but before we go into Terraria we're actually going to want to start the server alright so we get a little message saying running debug mode unexpected errors may occur because this still is a work in progress however uh, it's stable at the moment at least from what Death Cradle has told me alright so the server has started now because uh, this is running off my computer I can type in localhost because that basically just means my computer my local computer the default port is 777 and we can log in now so there we go my world is loaded and that's basically how you set it up now if you want to use commands such as being able to give yourself items or give other people items um, it's probably most important to go into the console window first and type help typing help gives you a whole heap of commands now the first and probably the most important command is exit the server at the moment saves automatically but only every, every 15 to 30 minutes so uh, that can sometimes not be very good <laughs> if you're just going to randomly close the server down or if the server crashes so uh, when you close the server make sure you type exit as that will make sure the data is saved in your world now for uh, to give items to people you can uh, type it into the console so give so uh, if we can see that a little bit better if you watch the glass there we just type give my tutor 10 glass the glass increases so basically uh, the command can be also seen in the uh, the help menu here and it's right there so it says slash give but you only use the slash if you're in game so if I was playing uh, my um, my character in game I would type slash give my tutor 10 glass now obviously this is not going to work because at the moment I'm not an admin but just for the sake of demonstration um, it that's the actual command for in game outside of game it would be give my tutor 10 glass like so now if you want players to be able to spawn their own items in game um, you're gonna have to do as follow you type op for operator space their username space the password you want them to enter so I'm just gonna use one two three so now as you can see I still cannot give myself items however if I type in game this has to be in game by the player that has been set operator by the GAM console. If you type slash op login and then the password you set for that player, which was 123, I've successfully logged in as an operator. So uh, this is good because now I can give myself items in game. There we go, I just gave myself 10 more glass. Now, uh, there are quite a lot of other commands, but they all run off the same principle and um, they all pretty much work the same. You can type in item IDs, which is actually given to you. So the ID for glass is 170. Or I can just type. Either way, it gives me the, uh, the same thing. So that's how you set someone as an op, change your map, run it on Linux, and how you use the give command. Just remember that all the other commands run pretty much exactly the same, so uh, that should be enough to get you going. If it's not, leave a comment, and uh, if you need me to make a video on anything else, feel free to ask, and I'll get it up as soon as I can. Hope this video helped. Um, if it did, feel free to comment, like, and subscribe. It helps me out heaps. I also have a Facebook and a Twitter set up. 
um, which will be put in the description along with links to the uh, Terraria dedicated server mod. Enjoy.